Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and welcome to this blog of mine. I haven't done a blog for quite a while um, and I've just had a really busy year as I know a lot of other people have. Um, most of my busyness comes from two things that I started at the end of 2016, about November. So one of them, I've been doing a job for Cruelty Free Super, Australia's only 100% vegan superannuation fund or retirement fund. Been doing that since 2010 when they launched in Australia. And um, I've been doing their social media marketing and events for all that time and then they've just added a new role so I've just become the um, member relations now so that's Monday Wednesday Friday um, throughout the year so I did a bit of training for that I did an RG146 about retirement and superannuation and some, I'm still doing some study with that at the moment and other than that I've also become the president of the Vegetarian Vegan Society of Queensland which is in my home state in Australia so they're the biggest things that have been taking up a lot of my time um, so I just thought I'd go over quite a few things that I've been doing in regards to um, the rest of my life so um, the end of last year the beginning of this year I did a 10 day digital detox which was really awesome because I'm on the computer all the time I um, try to have boundaries in place where I'm not always on the computer like we're taking time out and over the Christmas um, to New Year that was a really good time to do that so that really felt cool I um, read a heap of books worked on writing and my poetry and um, I even started running which um, those who have known me for a while will think that's quite amusing um, and started hard but became quite easier the more I did it so I was quite impressed with that and I had a goal of um, write and read every day and run every day I added to that so it was really cool a few of you know that I do a lot of house sitting and I'm not really in one spot for more than three months and I've been doing that for the past five or so years and um, I did I normally do three to four weeks minimum for the places that I stay at so this year I've done few in Mount Gravatt sort of area, one down the coast and I've just finished one over the north side of Brisbane. So they've been really good and I've um, looked after some cats and some dog friends and um, yeah it's been, been interesting. I always like other people's animal friends. One of the big things I celebrated that I ended up having a party for and a vegan potluck for was my 20th um, vegan anniversary. So at the beginning of 1997, um, at the end of January, I became vegan originally and so I thought it was a good time just to have a bit of a party, get together with some of my friends and I, I had it. Um, I had the invitation out to anyone who wanted to come so we had quite a few random people come as well and some of them become my friends now and it was a really good day we had so much great vegan food and I was really pleased that a lot of my friends could come to that and um, what I mentioned before about um, the Vegetarian Vegan Society of Queensland that I'm the president of now so we call it VVSQ for short I took over that um, at the AGM I was voted in in November and there's been a lot of a lot of work and a lot of transition issues since then I took over from a lady Maureen who's been doing that for 15 years at least and um, she's been doing most of that on her own for quite a while so the biggest thing was just you know to make it relevant again when I first went um, vegan 20 years ago it was relevant and I got involved with a lot of their stalls and their um, helping you know send out magazines and stuff but a lot of people hadn't even heard of the name when I told them I was the new president so that's one of the biggest challenges to make it relevant but I think we're on the right track and we've been involved with a lot of events and I think the more we're involved with events and the more people see us around doing things that the more relevant it will become and um, yeah the, some of the things that we do um, include and uh, we've got a lending library if you've ever been to um, Loving Hut at Mount Gravatt in Brisbane um, we've set up a library there so that you can borrow whatever books you like and as long as you bring them back next time you're in that was a pretty big thing that we did with a few of the volunteers 
Um, we also have a quarterly magazine called Vital. So if you become a member, which is only $20 per year, um, you get a quarterly magazine sent out to you, a print magazine at the moment, and um, that gets sent to you quarterly. And I'm always looking for people to write articles and reviews and stuff as well. So if that sounds like something you'd be keen to do and you live in the Queensland area, let me know. Um, and we do a heap of outreach stalls as well, so vegan outreach. There's a, a um, Brisbane vegan market, so on the, I think it's the third Sunday of every month, and um, that's by some friends, Johnny and Donna, and um, they, we, so VVSQ has a stall there every month, and that's the, like, that's the minimum of what we do with our stalls. So Lisa and Paul, who are our stalls coordinators, they go to a variety of different vegan events or even environmental events and um, just, you know, sell some of the stuff that we have and um, just have really good conversations with people. And we've been working on a couple of big events that are coming up soon. So we've got... Um, Briz Vegan Fest which took place last year and will be taking place on the 23rd of September this year. Got a good um, team together to make that happen and that's um, proudly presented by VVSQ. We've also been working on a quarterly night market called Vegication that started last year by Josh and we're all going to work together to make that happen this year and that will, I think the first one's end of October this year so that will be really cool. And um, one of the things I'm excited about that we'll be working at soon, I'm going away for a few months, but when I come back will be the um, will be a VVSQ Veg Pledge. So I'm really excited about that. And I've chosen probably the wrong place to film because sorry about the glare. <laughs> And one of the things I'm excited about, I'm just about to go overseas. I'm going to Europe for um, just over three months. I'm mostly going over there to speak at a, a variety of vegan events and um, see some friends, um, make some new friends, hang out with people, do some train travels, love trains, um, road trips, whatever. You know, I've, I've got a few things that are confirmed and then I'll just fill out the rest whenever you know, I get the chance and whenever someone gives me a great opportunity I'd like to take. So um, I'm, I just thought I'd go through some of the events I'm speaking at and I'm starting, I'm leaving on next Monday actually, so just over a week here in Brisbane. And the first one that I'm going to is Bristol Veg Fest and that's on the 21st of May. So I'm speaking about international activism and engaging abroad. And I'm also speaking about online etiquette and dealing with negativity online. Then the next weekend I'm going to Von Manchester Fair. Von stands for Vegan Organic Network and they have their fair on the 27th of May. I'm speaking about 20 Years a Vegan, my new talk. Um, then I think I've got a, a week or two break there and then I'm going to the Vegan Summer Fest in Brighton and I'll, I'm not sure what I'm speaking about there yet but it'll be one or two um, talks of mine. Then um, I'm going to speak at the Bournemouth Vegan Fair on the 17th and 18th of June. I'm speaking about promoting veganism online and online etiquette and dealing with negativity online. Then I'm um, having a bit of a break in between there and I'm going to the Isle of Wight Vegan Fair Festival 28th to the 30th of July and I'll be speaking about promoting veganism on, online there. Um, have a few weeks break and then my last event will be the Liverpool Viva Vegan Festival on the 12th of August and I'll be talking about international activism and engaging abroad and um, then I'll be back home the end of August. I'm planning on going to a few other areas too so around um, the beginning to mid-June Belgium, Germany, Poland that sort of area and then when I've got a big chunk of time say the 19th of June to the 27th of July I'm planning on being Spain, France, Italy that sort of area and then end of July to the beginning of August. I've got a bit of a few weeks free there. So maybe Ireland and the UK, some other places in the UK. Um, so if there's anywhere you think I should see or anywhere that you know I could stay or someone that you'd like me to meet, I'm also gonna be doing my um, 
interviews with inspiring vegans so if you know anyone that would be great to be interviewed I'd love to hear from you and um, some ideas so that's my year um, I come back the end of August and then when I come back September I'll be straight into the Briz Vegan Fest event and then about to launch a VVSQ veg pledge so that will launch at the festival and then we're going to have a month's worth of events that coincide with the veg pledge that a lot of Queensland groups can get involved with and then um, after that we'll have the night markets and then I'm about to start some study as well so it's going to be a pretty intense year and it has been an intense year there's been so much happening every single day um, been trying I've seen quite a few live bands which has been cool always try to do that and back into the AFL and watching um, some of my favorite teams play which is also good um, but mostly it's just been lots of meetings lots of um, events lots of working together with people and seeing where we want things to go especially with VVSQ and um, I'm really happy to be involved with that sort of stuff and um, I'm really happy to get involved with other people who work on some really cool stuff so um, I'd love if you're over um, in Europe or the UK I'd love to see you over there send me an email get in touch and hopefully we can catch up otherwise I'll see the rest of you hopefully at Briz Vegan Fest on the 23rd of September and um, you have a great year and I'll speak to you soon